Today I have what is definitely my first sort of brand review, I guess you could call on my channel. I'm excited. Today we're going to be testing out a brand called Disturbia and I, I'll be honest, the reason I found this brand is because they were showing me ads on Instagram for like the last year. <laughs> I've been on their website a few times and every time I've gone I'm like, I've almost bought something but I felt like having this channel gave me like that extra push and the excuses I needed to actually make an order because I'm really excited. I wouldn't necessarily classify my own style as like emo or goth or alternative in any way, but I do really like, you know, bits and pieces from the aesthetic. And even though I'm not that, like I really like their clothing and I feel like they're sort of like wearable emo pieces. It does not even make any sense. I don't know, but I'm gonna show you a couple of pieces that I picked up. I'm gonna tell you what the quality is like, show you some try-ons, and we're gonna kind of figure out together if this is a brand that is worth the money or if it's a little bit over. I have a lot of thoughts. I definitely have a lot of thoughts. So I think we should just go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that I picked up is actually a pair of pants and I saw these on the website. I was like, these are so freaking cool. And one thing I want to point out on their website is that you can put in your measurements and all that stuff and they will give you a suggested size. So I basically went with all of the sizes that they suggested for what I had put in, kind of trusting that that would be like my perfect size. I did also look at the measurements and stuff like that. So I'll tell you the sizes that I ended up getting uh, once we get to the pieces and I'll have my measurements down below in my description box if there's anything that you wondering about but I did get these pants in a size US 8 which is a UK 12 and these are definitely like too big for me in the waist which is, is fine I wanted them to be on the larger side because I do have a bigger bottom so like I needed to accommodate for my you know big butt my big thighs and so that usually always happens with pants that aren't in a curvy line is that if they fit in the waist, they're too tight everywhere else. So I did size up in these. Like I said, they are too big, but I actually wore these yesterday. And I will say that the quality of them, I'm not sure if you can properly like see what they're made of, but they're definitely made of like a very, it's not stiff, but it's also not soft. And it feels like just a cotton fabric. Now I'm not like a fabric expert, so maybe I should check that. Okay, I'm way off. So it says 78% polyester, 20% rayon, and 2% elastane. <laughs> but to me, they feel like cotton pants. <laughs> Take that for what it's worth. But I think these are super, super cute. I really like the design of them. And overall, the quality seems really, really nice. The only thing is that the sizing might be a little bit off. I feel like for being an eight, they run quite large because I can easily get away with an eight fitting me pretty perfectly from other brands. So. Overall, first impression of the brand, I would say the pieces do run on the larger side, which you will see in the rest of the try-on as well. So this was the only pair of bottoms that I ended up uh, getting from the website because I, I didn't want to get more until I would kind of, you know, tested them out just to see what their sizing would be like and stuff because bottoms are definitely the one thing that's like, you know, the hardest to buy online, especially from new brands that you're not familiar with. So I did end up getting a couple of dresses here, which I really like dresses and I feel like I wear dresses more in the fall time and the winter time than I do in the summertime, which is probably... The opposite of what other people do but I really like them as a layering piece so the first dress here I got is a printed sort of like t-shirt dress like that's sort of the silhouette of it it does have a zipper in the back I can show you real quick right here I'm not sure how well you can see that but I will also of course show you the try on the fabric on this feels it feels quite Thin. It's definitely not a thick fabric. It also does not have a lining or anything like that in it So very very thin fabric, but I don't mind that as long as you know The fit is good and all that stuff and I do feel like I like how this looks on and I can see myself wearing this quite a bit I do feel like maybe it's a little overpriced just like for the quality. It doesn't feel like it It doesn't feel the price tag <laughs> Like if I had to guess I would guess that this dress if someone like Put it in my hands like how much this is i'd be like it's probably like 30 dollars would have been like my my guess so i do feel like some of the pieces are maybe a little bit on the higher side for like what you're getting but i also don't know like how they treat their employees and like how much they pay them and if, if this is like an ethical brand from what i could see online it does seem like it is one of the better brands that i've looked into anyway so just something to keep in mind i really do like the dress though and i'm excited that i bought it i don't think i'll be returning any of these items honestly because i like all of them 
<laughs> which I kind of was expecting that maybe I would be returning. This was a lot of money, but honestly, I'm excited that I have these pieces. So the next dress that I ended up getting, this one is more of a spaghetti style type dress and it is in the exact same fabric. I like the fit of this one quite a bit. The previous dress seemed like it was uh, true to size, I would say, while still leaning on the, the larger side. Um, I did get the other dress in a six, and I also got this one in a six, and it certainly fits me. It fits me very nicely. The only thing I would say is that I feel like I need to wear something underneath this because it is kind of like low on the chest. So like if I were to wear a bra, I'm wearing all of these you know, over the top of a long sleeve, as you can see, because that is how I'll be styling them. And also because like I said, with this one, I feel like I can't really wear a bra with this because it goes quite low down. So like the bra would definitely show. But for me, that's not an issue because I will be wearing these as layering pieces as well. I'm not sure how I feel about the, like the tie that's attached to the dress because I will probably cut it off and use a belt with it instead. I do like the idea of having a belt with it, but I kind of wish it wasn't like attached to the dress. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. Overall, I like it. I feel like this one is pretty true to size as well. The next item I got here, I do feel like is, again, the quality doesn't feel that amazing. And it's this little tank top that I have right here with like a really cool print on it. I love the print. I, I like skull things and I'm, I'm kind of into like the dark aesthetic, even though, like I said in the beginning, it's not really like who I am as a person, but I think it looks cool. So, you know, I still wear that kind of thing. Um, I did get this one in a size six. Uh, I would expect this to honestly fit a little bit smaller. So I do feel like this one's a little bit oversized as well, because you can definitely tell just like in the arms and stuff, like it, over the chest, it does fit a little bit on the looser side. I do like it though, and I'm definitely going to wear it, but Again, I do feel like I'll probably be wearing this as more of a layering piece and not like on its own. It's also the kind of piece that I can't really wear a bra with. So I'd have to wear like nipple covers or like have a long sleeve underneath or something like that, which isn't a problem, but just something to keep in mind. I have one more dress here in a long sleeve that I wanna show you. And the next uh, dress I do feel like also is quite oversized. This one is probably the one that's the most oversized out of all of them. I also got this one in a US size six. And as you can tell, it's quite large. And I haven't quite like played around with the idea of styling it and stuff. And I'm gonna do the try on after I film this, even though I have already I quickly tried on the pieces just to see how they fit. So I'm not sure how this is going to look styled. I really like the um, the silhouette of it and I really like the um, colors and I think that I'll be able to make this work. I might have to have it taken in a little bit in the side just because it's very large, but I do feel like maybe with a belt, it's not gonna look too bad. Uh, the fabric on this one is, I would say, a little bit thicker than the other two. It feels a little, like not stiffer, it almost feels sort of like a crepe fabric, if you know what I mean when I say that. You can maybe hear it. I don't know, maybe not, but I think it's cute. And like I said, I'm not gonna be returning it because I do like it. I might just have to make a couple of small tweaks to uh, take it in because it is quite, uh, quite large. And I also think that a lot of the dresses are longer than I was expecting. To be fair, I am only 5'1", but on the models, they definitely looked a little bit, oh, maybe I'm just misremembering. I, I just thought they would be a little bit shorter, which not a big deal at all. I don't really mind. Uh, the last piece of clothing that I got is probably my favorite out of the whole haul, I would say. And this is just a velvety long sleeve mesh top. I am a sucker for like a turtleneck sheer top. Like that is something that I wear all the time. I wear it as layering pieces and I absolutely love them. This one, I don't even have to layer. I feel like it's opaque enough that with like a black bra or something underneath, like it's totally fine to wear on its own, but it's also going to look really cool under, you know, t-shirts or whatever it is that I want to layer this with. I could also dress it up and wear it with, you know, a skirt or something like that. And it's gonna look very classy, very cool and just very pretty. So I really, really, really like this. This one I feel like is true to size. I got this one in a six as well. And I'm happy I did. And I, I think overall, there's size recommendations are okay. At least they lean on like recommending larger sizes over recommending something that's too small. So that's always good. Like you would rather get something that's too big than too small. So maybe just, you know, uh, look at the measurements on their website and the size charts before you, you know, make your final decision just to sort of see and also just 
you know, look at the models very closely and see how the clothes are fitting on the models before you make your own decision. If you do plan on picking anything up from this site uh, at some point, I'm going to show you the accessories that I got as well, which I am so excited about these. I'm actually wearing one of them today and it's these earrings, which I think are super cute. They're sort of these like sword earrings. They almost looks like a cross, but they're definitely swords. And I love the length of them. I really like how spiky they are. And I think they're just very different from anything that I own. I would say the quality of them is okay. They do feel a little fragile. They're very lightweight. It does say on them that they're, I guess, real silver. It could it could just be like the, like the attachment part that is real silver. I don't know. Uh, they weren't so expensive that I would expect the whole thing to be made out of silver, but yeah, I like them. I think they're really, really cute. And I also got this ring that I'm wearing right now, which I think is really cool. And it fits honestly perfectly on my middle finger. It doesn't have anything to like adjust it with, but I'm actually really happy I picked it up. I'm not a huge ring person, but I do like wearing rings. I just don't have a lot of rings that I feel like are... I don't know, appropriate, I'm not appropriate, but like rings that I feel like I can wear with anything. Like all of the rings I have are kind of like specific. So yeah, I don't know, I really like this and I can see myself just wearing this on a everyday basis because I think it's really cute. The last thing I got, I am so excited about because these shoes, like aren't these amazing? I just can't. When I opened the box, I was like, these are not my size. These look way too big. I got them in a size six. And I still feel like they don't look like a six. And they do, again, run a little bit large. So I kind of fit more like a six and a half, seven, I would say. But how I plan to wear these anyway is probably with like tights and socks. So it's totally fine. Um, my idea was kind of like, well, if they run big, I can, you know, put more stuff in them. And if not, I can just wear them with tights and that would be fine too, or just like light socks. But I think these are so cool. And they're honestly very, very comfortable. So very excited that I picked these up and I this was definitely like a impulse purchase I really was not planning on buying shoes at all but I'm super happy I did because I feel like this is probably the piece that I'm gonna get the most wear out of out of all of these items because like I feel that accessories always get more use for me than you know clothing pieces because I have a lot of clothes so like rotating all of them is something that I try to do and so I don't always like wear the same thing over and over and over whereas with shoes I don't have as many shoes as I do clothes so yeah I think that's gonna be sort of my review I guess if you will let me know if this was helpful let me know if you want to see other videos uh like this I can't do them too often because it's going to get too expensive unless I like return everything and I don't want to be that person but I'm actually excited about the things that I got even though I don't feel like they're perfect I'm still probably going to shop with them again if they have pieces that I like because now I know what to expect and I feel like I can make better purchasing decisions next time when it comes to sizing and I also know what their fabrics are like and stuff like that too so yeah no I'm excited about the things that I got and I'm excited to play around with them if you want to see like the actual outfits that I end up wearing I always post uh shorts especially if I have you know worn an outfit out and styled it like those are the kind of outfits that I actually post I don't just like put together an outfit for the short if that makes sense like these are outfits that I actually wear out and about so check out my shorts if you want to see how I end up styling these in the future because what you saw now was mostly just like a try on and not really like it styling portion even though I would wear them in this way but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video let me know if there are any brands that you are interested in that you think I would maybe like or that you want to see me review thank you so much for watching if you want to see some more videos I'll put one on the screen that you might like if you're new don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one